Hello Grade 1s, welcome to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. If you have any questions while I'm talking all about lovely numbers, then you just send an email to the address on your screen now, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com, and I'll do my best to get back to you. My name is Teacher Di, if we haven't met before, then welcome, and it's so nice to have you here today. I hope you enjoy the lesson. And if you've been here before and we have met, well then welcome back. It's always nice when people return and watch some more lessons and you just keep getting cleverer and cleverer, hey? Okay, well today we're going to do some maths, some lovely counting, and it's all about subtraction especially. Hmm, teacher I, what is this big word, subtraction? Do you know? Do you know an easier word for subtraction is? Minus. We're going to be doing minus sums. Are you ready? Okay, you know that before we get started, we must do our counting. Counting helps us with getting all warmed up for maths. And today it especially helps us because subtraction or minus is all about counting. Actually counting backwards. So let's count forwards and then when we're all warmed up, we'll count backwards. Okay. Let's count forwards in one. So that's just one, two, three, four. But today, as a challenge, we're not going to start at one. We're going to start at 11 and count forwards all the way to 40. Can we do that? I think we can. Let's try. 11, 12, 13, count with me. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, keep going, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Well done. Now let's count backwards. We're going to start at 30 and we're going to finish at 11. Can we do that? It's easy. Hey, let's try together. We'll do it together. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Stop there. Okay, very good. Let's count in twos. That's skip counting. Start at two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Count with me. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Whew, well done, you counted all the way to 40. Okay, we're almost there, we're going to count in fives. Now fives is quite easy because you say five in this column and then 10 over here. Let's try. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Great. And lastly, in tens, which is so nice and easy, we just start at 10 and go zips down the side. Can you do it by yourself? Let me hear. 10, hmm, 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 40. Well done. Okay. Let's get to our subtraction, which is minus or counting back. Okay, this is a number line, and that's what we're going to use to help us. Now, there are lots of things you can use to help you with maths. You can use counters. So, I like to use in my classroom bottle tops. You can save all the bottle tops off your milk bottles, and they are so useful for counting. Or maybe you can use an abacus. An abacus is one of those grids with all the little beads on, and as you count, you push them to the one side, and that's really useful for counting. And another thing you can use is a number line, which is what we've got here. And it's good to practice with all the different methods and then you find one that your brain likes the most and you use that. 
Okay, so today we're going to practice a number line and you see if it agrees with you. It always starts at naught and it goes on and on and on and never ends. <laughs> but my screen is only so big, so I had to end this one at 20. And if we want to count to 20, we're going to jump and every jump is worth one. So, okay, let's rather count to five so I can show you. So we start at naught, let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. What if we want to start at 10 and count backwards in five? We just jump backwards. 10 minus five, for example. One, two, three, four, five. Did you see? Okay, let's practice that. 10 minus five. And let's see if we can get the answer. So we're starting at 10 and we're minusing five. Now I always picture this minus as a little broom. Say you've got 10 Smarties and you sweep away five. They're disappearing, they're gone. So let's start at 10 and let's take away five. We're going backwards. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So what is 10 minus 5? It is 5. That's right. Do you see how easy that was using this number line? Okay, let's do another one. 12 take away 7. Take away minus subtract. It's all the same word to say we're sweeping away 7. Now the numbers are getting quite big. I bet some of you could do 10 minus 5 in your head. But 12 minus 7 is a different matter altogether. And that's why this number line is so useful. By the way, if you like number lines, it suits your brain, but you don't have one around, do you know what you can use? A ruler. You'll see on your ruler, all the numbers are there. And it's really useful for doing maths. So take out your ruler next time you have a maths problem. And you use it to work out. Okay. Okay, let's use the number line, seeing as though we've got it here. 12, take away 7. So we're going backwards. If it was plus 7, we'd be going the other way, but we're taking away 7. So we've got to go 7 jumps backwards, and each jump is 1. Okay, so here we go, 12, and we're going to jump backwards. Let's go. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And what is 12 minus 7 then? It is 5. Very good. Let's do another one. 20 take away 6. Goodness me. Here we, luckily we've got 20 on the screen. Let's do 6 jumps backwards and see what we get. What do you think the answer is? Can you guess? Shall we work it out? Okay, 20. Now we're going to jump. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 20 minus 6 is 14. Yes, brilliant. Okay, another one, 20 minus 9. Now you could think in your head, hmm, 9 is close to 10. So if I said 20 minus 10, I would probably guess it's around 10. But it's only 9, and so it wasn't quite 20. So I wonder, somewhere around there, that's called estimating. We're guessing a little bit to help us. Okay, now let's go and find out the answer. 20 take away 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the answer is 11. 20 minus 9 is 11. Good job. Okay, let's do some story sums to end off. We're mixing up words and numbers to give our brains a workout. Let's try. I have 20 sweets. I give 11 away. How many do I have left? Okay, so I'm giving away. So we know it's a minus sum. 20 give away 11. Could you write that in the sum? 20 minus 11. Okay, now let's see if we can find it out. Here we've got 20 and we have to take away 11 and see what number we land up on. Okay, 20. Are you ready to do take away 11? 20. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. You do it. One, two, three, four. Count. Seven. Did you do it? And what's the answer? Yes, 
9. So we now know 20 minus 11 is 9. And we did that all using the number line. Isn't that great? You did that all by yourself. You counted and you got to the answer. Now let's do one more. Ah, we mustn't forget. Nine sweets is the answer because that was the question. Okay, let's do another one. There are 18 children in my class. 10 are boys. How many are girls? Hmm. I have 18 children in my class. Let's find 18. 10 are boys. I've got to take them away and then I'll know how many are girls. Do you want to try this one really by yourself? Okay, so we're going to start at 18 and we're going to take away 10. And then you tell me how many girls. Okay, start at 18. Let's count 10 minus 10. What did you get? 18 take away 10 is 8. Well done, smarty pants. So there's our sum. 18 minus 10 is 8. And look at those big numbers and you did them so well. Well done. I hope that you've enjoyed using this number line and you can now use it in your maths too. And if you don't have one around, what can you use instead? Yes, a ruler. Well done. The answer was 8 girls. How many girls? 8 girls. Very good. You did it. Subtraction to 20, so that's quite big numbers we were working with. And we did that just fine using the number line, which is our new special trick. Okay, have a lovely day, Grade Ones. I hope you enjoyed watching this lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. And download the activity that I've prepared for you now and enjoy doing some of that work at home. Okay, have a lovely day.